Hello Grey Group and welcome to day four, your last day reading Wailing Winnie's Car Boot Sale. We're going to start with the jump in activity. If you remember at school, I read the words and when I pause, that's your chance to jump in with the word that's written down on the paper. I might start with the first word of a sentence or the end or even a word in the middle. So you really have to pay attention. Are you ready? I will just pause for a couple of seconds. Ready to jump in. Wailing Winnie's car boot. Winnie stuck the poster to the... of her cave with a blob of bat spit. Perfect! She... straightening her pointy hat. Car boot sale. Today in the snail trail cave. Lots of Winnie into the boot of her witchmobile, ticking things off on her fingernails. A book of out of date spells. A set of second hand chains. A crate. Old toenail clippings. Six cans of snail slime, a rat's tail, and a pair of old trainers. All Winnie's mates came to the boot sale and was sold. I'll take the cash straight to the Banshee Bank, Winnie's husband, Phantom Phil. You seen my trainers? Trainers? Winnie gulped. Winnie, you pea brain, you've sold my best. Phil complained. Round the cave in a rage. I'll try and get them back. Winnie up her broomstick. First, she paid a visit to Chilly Charlie's coffin. The lid open and Charlie's face poked out. Did you buy a pair of smelly trainers at the boot sale? wailed Winnie. I'm afraid not, complained Charlie. I bought the book of spells and I paid for it. That was £2.50 down the... Winnie nailed his lid down. Next, she... Sam the Spook's Attic. Fingers trailed. Winnie's face. Wait! Did you buy a pair of smelly old trainers at the boot sale? She wailed. Hooted Sam. I bought the chains. I'm doing them up for Halloween. He faded away. Winnie raised the rusty lid of the dustbin. Dustbin Dave in an old paint tin, among the marmalade jars and cake. Is it dustbin day? No, wailed Winnie. Did you buy a pair of smelly old trainers at the boot sale? Not me. I bought the toenail clippings. I've always wanted some. He waved and banged down the lid. Smelly Nelly was sitting on a of rubbish in the rain. Did you buy a pair of smelly old at the boot sale? Winnie, yes, I've turned them into for my holiday in, explained Nelly. With her magic wand, Winnie felt 
Well, you'd better turn them back. Nellie waved a pair of dusty lace-up boots in Winnie's face. Will these do? She. I'm having a boot sale of my own and I'm selling these boots. A. At. This is your third and final read, children. It should be fluent. You should be pausing at punctuation, using lots of expression and making it entertaining for your audience. Good luck. Now we have the questions to talk about. We have two types, fastest finger or have a think question. For the fastest finger, you have to use the recording of your third read to help you find where the answer is. You can see on here that we have the page numbers and if it says FF, it means fastest finger. It means you need to find where the answer is before you tell me what the answer is. A have a think question is one to think about yourself. I will read all the questions for you to go and find the answer and then I will leave the answers with you afterwards. On page nine, using your fastest finger, what did Winnie use to stick the poster to the wall? Go. Page 10, what was the last thing on Nellie's list? Page 11. Why did Winnie gulp when Phil asked about his trainers? Page 12. Fastest finger. What did Charlie buy from the car boot sale? Page 13. What did Sam buy from the car boot sale? Page 13 again. Fastest finger. What did Dave buy from the car boot sale? Page 13. Have a think. Do you think Nellie's boots are a bargain? Let's answer the questions together now. So page 9. What did Winnie use to stick the poster to the wall? A blob of bat spit. Page 10. What was the last thing on Nellie's list? A pair of smelly old trainers. Page 11. Why did Winnie gulp when Phil asked about his trainers? She gulped because she was worried. She realised she had probably sold his trainers. Page 12. What did Charlie buy from the car boot sale? Charlie bought the book of out of date spells for £2.50. Page 13. What did Sam buy from the car boot sale? Sam bought the chains, especially for Halloween. What did Dave buy from the car boot sale? Dustbin Dave bought the toenail clippings. He always wanted some. And the last question, have a think. Do you think Nellie's boots are a bargain? Certainly not. In fact, £500 is very expensive for Nellie's boots. Did you get all the questions right? Well done if you did. For your final task, Grey Group, I would like you to proofread this sentence. Proofreading means that you are checking for any errors in the sentences. When we look for errors, we're looking for punctuation errors, if there are any missing, or if there are any in the wrong place, or we are looking for spelling mistakes. I would like you to read the sentences, there are two of them, and I want you to look carefully if you can see any mistakes. When you find the mistakes, I want you to rewrite the sentences on a piece of paper and then I will show you the errors and I will show you the corrected text. Pause the video and look for the errors now. So did you get the errors? Here they are. The first one is trainers, a spelling error, then shouted as another spelling error and the last one is afraid. Whoopsie! Fred the Frog has used the wrong spelling sounds. Here we have the corrected text. 
did you get this right? Were you right, children? Well done. If you weren't, just fix your sentence now. Let's look at another sentence. Here we have another sentence for you. There might be spelling mistakes or punctuation errors. Have a look, pause the video, rewrite the sentence and I will show you the mistakes. Let's see. The first mistake, there's no capital letter at the start of the sentence and Winnie is a name. So two reasons for a capital letter there. And whoopsie, no full stop. Let's show you. Did you get it right? Well done, Grey Group. You've had a fantastic week. I'm so proud of you. See you next week.